New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning on Hot 97. Now, I sent in the group text yesterday some audio. Um, I don't have a clean version of it. It was on Instagram. I don't think it got put in the system. I think y'all missed it. No, it's a private. It's a private account. Oh, so you couldn't you couldn't put it in. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. But anyway, it was um to play it? I can't play it. It's not clean. She used the N-word. But she talked about people in Harlem is still outside roller skating. And she had a friend that wanted to pull up to the chicken spot. And she was like, yo, she was like, McDonald's is packed. Oh, yeah. And you want to go to a buffet and hang out. Oh, a buffet. Oh, Hit him. Congratulations. Him. You played yourself. And on top of that, she was like, I ain't going to say no names, but hashtag Pat Brown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, damn. Uh, yo, whoever Pat Brown is in Harlem, your friend put up a whole video about you. Congratulations. You played yourself. She said, how you going to go to a buffet? You might as well make love to the coronavirus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's so true. Buffet a of buffet. all things yeah. right now. That's what you want to do, a buffet? You wildin'. Laura, what's on your list today? Well, Ebro, you were talking about people with half a brain. There's plenty of people who don't even have that. Like this man who was just charged with making a terrorist threat after he mocked the severity of the coronavirus. Get him. He was the one that went um, on to a Walmart and started licking all these items and decided to put it on camera. Well, he just got hit with terrorist threats. And you know what? I'm I'm happy that he did. Congratulations. You played yourself. You need to understand how serious this is. And you're putting people's lives in danger? Oh, there's a lady over. Pizza. They had a story about a grocery store, a small town in uh, Pennsylvania. A lady who's a who's a known problem in the community went into the store and started coughing on all the meat. Damn. Yeah. She's violent. And then the health care the health department came in and told them they had to dispose of, wait for it, thirty five thousand dollars oh. of meat. People are struggling right now. Suffering. Mm. Cause you wanna play around. Congratulations. You played yourself. She got arrested. Rosenberg, what's on your list? Uh, it feels good. You know, it feels good to be back. Back where? to where? Back back to some sense of normalcy. Oh, okay. Because mm-hmm. push the button on Kanye West. Oh, Kanye back. Congratulations. You played yourself. What happened? I'm a black guy with a red MAGA hat. Can you imagine? He said. He talked to the Wall Street Journal magazine, and he broke down how uh, wearing the MAGA hat Reminds him of the days before he was famous and what it felt like to just be a black guy. What? This is recent? Oh, this is yesterday, Laura Styles. <laughs> he need and by the way, the real congratulations is you so far out living in a bubble in Calabasas, you needed to be reminded what it felt like to be a black guy. Congratulations. Yeah. You played yourself. First of all, it's an interesting choice that in 2020, you thought you needed something to make you feel like a black guy, but that's okay. Let me explain something, though. The thing about being black is it's not a choice. It's just when you wake up and when you leave the house every single day. Here's the thing about the MAGA hat. Um, you choose to put it on your head and upset people. <laughs> if you put a swastika on your shirt, would you be like, oh, this is just like being black. It's like you can't even wear a swastika anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? I, you know what? The congratulations isn't to Kanye anymore because that's really who he is. It's to the people still holding on. It feels so good to have given up over a year ago. Because now Congratulations. When happens, you played yourself. Like, Shawnee, have you, have you joined us who have let go? Are you still holding on for dear life? I mean, I let go of Kanye. I still like the music. I can't say I don't well, like the music. What exactly, when you say people have let go, what have you let go of? The hope that he would yes. return to some sense of awareness? Yeah, there is no hope because I don't think he was that good a guy in the first place. So I've given up. Right. There's no coming back to what? And the hope that he's of the cause the way we thought he was. He never was. No, he was always thought, of the Kanye cause. We thought he was because he, in it his was only songs, about, it was, it was conscious. Yeah, but it was only about Kanye. Right, and now we kind of understand when you listen to reflection, but it seemed like he was for the cause. He was yeah. now with like most deaf and Kwali and Common, and it felt like, all right, he's about this movement, but now we see. That, and by the way, that was really a music association when you think about it. Right. That was really about the musical vibe. But either way, you know, for anyone who thought maybe things had gotten better, desperate times, you know, so maybe he'll smarten up. Nope. The direct quote, 
I'm a black guy with a MAGA hat. Congratulations. Congratulations.